Hi class, how are you today? That's halfway between good and great. Learning target for today is to use the distance and midpoint formulas on a coordinate plane. For a scale, you're a three if you can use the distance and midpoint formulas on a coordinate plane. A two, you can use the distance and midpoint formulas, but you can't simplify the answers. So that's either, either simplifying the fractions, reducing the fractions, or uh, simplifying the radicals, the square roots, which will probably be the biggest issue for most people. One, you can use the distance or midpoint formula, but not both of them. You can use one or the other. It'll probably be the midpoint that you can use, but sometimes it's the other way around. And zero, you cannot use the distance or midpoint formulas at all whatsoever. Let's get started. First, we're going to talk about the distance formula. So the distance formula is that d, distance, between two points is the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. So remember that in a coordinate plane, points are named x, y. Their x coordinate and then their y coordinate. But if you have multiple points, like another x, y, you would say the first set of points is x1, y1, and the second is x2, y2. So let's look at these points right here. So this first point is 1, negative 2. So we'll write that down. Our first point is at 1, negative 2. Our second point is over 3, up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the point 3, 5. And now we plug it in, into the distance formula. We want to know if we were to make a line from this point to this point, how long would that line be? So we're going to put it in the distance formula. So we have the square root of x2 minus x1. So 3 minus 1. So 3 minus 1 squared. And then plus y2 minus y1. 5 minus negative 2. Or 5 plus 2. Squared. So notice what we did right here. So we want to know the distance of this line right here. In order to do that, what we did was 3 minus 1. So 3 minus 1 we found out the distance of that line right there, which 3 minus 1 is 2. And then 5 plus 2, or 5 minus negative 2, well, from 5 to negative 2, attempting to draw a good line. So that line has a distance of 5 plus 2 is 7. So we're finding out the horizontal distance and the vertical distance and then squaring each of those and then taking the square root. This might remind you of something else that uh, you hopefully learned in middle school called the Pythagorean Theorem. This is actually the Pythagorean Theorem on a coordinate plane. 
So like we said, 3 minus 1 is 2, and 2 squared is 4. So we have the square root of 4 plus, and then 7 squared is 49. So the square root of 4 plus 49, 4 plus 49 is 53. And if you can simplify it any more, you should do that. However, in this case, 53 cannot be simplified anymore, so the answer would just be the square root of 53. If you can simplify it more, such as being able to pull out a perfect square, uh, like we did when we were simplifying square roots, you would do that. But in this case, you can just leave it as square root of 53. All right, so the midpoint formula, instead of just giving you a number, it's actually giving you a point. So the midpoint formula takes two points and then tells you what point is halfway in between those two points. So if you notice here, x1 plus x2 divided by 2, it's taking the average of your two x's. And then y1 plus y2 divided by 2, it's taking the average of your y's. The midpoint formula is much easier than the distance formula. All right, so let's look at these two points. We have this point right here, which is the point 1, 3. And then this point right here, which is the point 3, negative 1. So now we plug them into the midpoint formula. x1 is 1 plus x2, which is 3. Just so you know, I'm talking about that 3, not that one. Divided by 2. And the y's, y1 is 3. And y2 is negative 1, so plus negative 1 or minus 1. So now we take the average of each of those. 1 plus 3 is 2. 2 divided by 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 divided by 2 is 2. And 3 minus 1 is 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. So our midpoint is the point 2, 1. And it's this point right here. So that point is directly between our two points halfway in between. All right, now time for the sponge. I want you to find the distance and midpoint of each pair of points. And make sure all your answers, including the square roots, are fully simplified. So uh, if you have any fractions, make sure they're fully reduced. Um, and if you have any square roots, make sure there's no perfect squares underneath them. Take them all out, uh, like we learned last class. All right. Uh, so we've got these two points, these two points. Find the distance between the two and the midpoint between the two. So two different answers. Same thing here. This point and this point. Find the distance distance between the two, find the midpoint between the two, and this point and this point. One, uh, that's it for the lesson. Once again, please make sure take notes on everything. Take a picture of your notes, including the sponge that you attempted, because you should. Submit it to Google Classroom, and have a good night.